STP medals are finally here. It's a new in-game currency, just like TP medals. As long as you're connected to the Xenoverse server, you can use them. You can use them like TP medals to purchase the same items from the same locations, with the exception of the capsule machine at the Hero Coliseum, Stylists, Concern City, etc., etc. TP medals are now available, again, in the same place they've always been, in the TP medal shop. But there's now an STP medal shop option, just like how there was originally only TP medals. And elite patroller matches will be something later on in Festival of Universes, where only the top combatants of Festival of Universes can gain bonus points to aid their, you know, their teams respectively better. To balance things out, so we don't have a Universe 7 stomping Universe 6 and Universe 11 scenario. Now, I'm going to go straight into the shop to show you what's actually in there. But keep in mind, we can actually also get Festival of Universes moves uh, through the STP Metal Shop. Okay, TP. Oh, yeah. Or Super TP Metal Shop. Okay, so this just went live now. Um, that was the probably the longest maintenance in Xenoverse 2 history. And yeah, now we have two different Metal Shops. So I'm going to check out the normal one first because, again, we, we don't know if they've changed anything of the normal Metal Shop. And it seems like... No, it seems like it's still the same. Okay, just want to quickly check everything before we go to the super one. And it all seems to be the same. Okay. Um, did we get any new artworks for this update? We did not. I don't think so, no. All right. Now for what we actually came for, the STP shop. Let's see. Skills. Okay, same skills. They cost the same amount too. Okay. Um, interesting. Clothing. What about this? Did we get any new ones? We did. Fused Demar- Oh, there we go. So here's the colorable Fused Demarsu clothes. Finally in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Goddamn. As well as a bandages, the mummy costume that's colorable. I don't remember if they actually announced this costume as a colorable one. Huh. They might have added more colorable costumes in this update then. Because I don't, I don't think this was part of the part of the set. But yeah, Fused Demarsu's drip colorable. Oh my goodness. I think I'm definitely gonna, gonna get the full set of that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they even have the pants colorable too. Man, oh my goodness. As well as a, f a full colorable set of bandages. We could probably make some pretty crazy characters with all this stuff now. And even the Zamasu shoes colorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's great. It's it's beautiful. All right. Any ex any new accessories? No? I don't, I don't think any new accessories. I think these, weirdly enough, cost the same Super TP as regular TP medals cost for their equivalent items. No new Super Souls um, either. Um, no new gifts. Oh, wait, no, there's more stuff here. Yeah, Super Saiyan Rose Aura for the lobby. That is 1,500 STP, though. And then a Legendary Super Saiyan Aura for Canton City. Remember, you can only use these auras in Canton City. You can't actually use them in-game. Otherwise, these, these would actually be, like, paid to look epic, right? But, I mean, it's, it's nice that we got these regardless. And for the images here, I don't believe there's anything new here. We did actually see this already, so yeah. Nothing new here, but Super TP Medals, oh my. Okay, one thing I want to know. Can I use them to level up with Tosok? Um, I would have to go on a character that's not level 140, but let me actually buy Super TP Medals first. Because um, remember, the only way to unlock them is through certain events which aren't out yet, and by buying them. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna do that now. So I did just get myself some Super TP Medals, and I think I'm going to just start with getting the Zamasu clothes. Um... I might as well get the bandages, the mummy one too, right? I never know when I'll just need a colorable set of that. So I'm going to make sure I have the uh, full set of all of these unique items. Keep in mind, uh, DBS Broly's outfit, the uh, the big armor, right? Uh, Broly's armor, as well as Jiren's Pride Troop outfit, will also be colorable. So if you don't want any of the stuff you see here now, just save your Super TP medals. But keep in mind, I don't think there's any other way to get Super TP medals this week other than buying them. I, there's no event for it that's up currently right now. And that does suck. There's no raid or expert mission that I think you can do to get them from. You can get them from daily rewards, though, if I recall. But again, you'd just be playing the game for 30 days and you're, it's probably just chump change, too. So that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, let me swap characters and then see if we can level up with Super TP Metals. If we can't, that's a tragedy. But wait, hold on. Hold on. Look at the way that looks on the, on the right side of the screen. Regular TP, even Super TP. I like how colorful the Super TP metal thing is. I won't lie. You can even check. Yeah, you can even check when you got Super TP medals. Okay. Very interesting. They actually chart how much you have. Yeah, they were like, oh, you got 6,000 Super TP medals, and right now you have 4,600. So, wow, they're paying a lot of attention to this. They probably don't want people cheating them out of uh, TP medals with, like, modding and, like, hacks and stuff, right? 
I think that I think they're trying to really like make sure the the TP economy doesn't like die. All right, let's see. I haven't colored the Fusamasu outfit on X yet, but he should. Okay, so they say here, in the lighter version as well as the normal version, you can use STP medals to increase your level. So you can also use STP medals to do it. All right, cool. Is it the same exchange rate? I imagine because it's been the same. Like, okay, wait. You can either pay with. Oh, STP medals cost less to level you up with. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, so that's a good incentive to buy them then. Um, let's use STP medals. Sure. Um, so I'm not going to do this until I get to level 140. But we know we can use STP medals to level. I do want to check Festival of Universes if we can check that place out. Because there's a shop there um, that you could use STP medals or I think star coins at. Alright, we are here now in Festival of Universes. Where is it? The tournament shop. There it is. So you let me know. Okay, star coin shop. The star coin shop has been added to festival shop. You can use star coins in this new section of the shop to purchase special items. We plan to add more items during future festival of universes. Wait, so more? There's more after this one. So I don't. I think this implies that we're not getting anything in this one, or maybe we're getting stuff in this one. But then there'll be even more when we do festival of universes three and four potentially. I think there might just be a festival of universes for um for every uh for every new DLC pack, right? That, that sounds like it's it's what's making the most sense right now. Okay, so let's see. What can we get with star coins? Uh, nothing. Skills? Wait, is it the same stuff as as this? Oh, is it different stuff? No, I think it's the same stuff as this. Okay, but wait, if we... No, because, okay, the regular TP Metal Shop and the STP Metal Shop have different rewards in them. Because they have different things. So when they say skills in the star coin shop i think we might actually be able to finally get the the festival skills for our custom characters through here i think this is exactly where we do it so we can actually get stuff like the uh the anime accurate super spirit bomb which would be usable on Cax, not on goku uh, ironically enough we could get the anime accurate like stardust breaker from dbs broly oh my god we'd get hits move as well that's so dumb we'd get jiren's move we'd get so many we'd get so many things from this well, there's even more reason to play Festival Universes now. For me, though, I'm just liking the drip. I'm not sure what color I'll make the band in the middle. Um, but overall, I do actually think I like uh, this uh, this outfit a lot for X. Finally, colorable Fuse the Master clothes. Very cool to me. I can't wait for the other colorable stuff like DBS Broly's armor and Jiren's Pride Trooper uniform, etc., etc. All right, so... Um, either way, I think this will be a good place to end the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, then obviously, again, please leave a like in the video. And don't forget to subscribe as it greatly supports the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Take care and uh, peace.